So just a little thing before we get into it, this is my fifth time recording this video over the span of one month. I wanted it to be really good and I didn't want it to feel rushed and I wanted it to be well organized, so here we are. I'm very proud of this final version, so I hope you stick with me to the end of it. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Welcome to the very first video on Danny is Cozy. I'm so happy you are here. I'm so happy to be here. I'm really excited to share more with you in this longer format. And I appreciate you being here. So my name is Danielle the Y, and on this channel we will be talking about cozy things, art, video games, movies, blender, all that. We'll do some vlogging here and there, we'll talk about food, fun stuff, everything. So as the title reads, I thought this would be a great time to do a get to know me, but I really wanted to call it a get to know each other. Because hopefully y'all comment down below, tell me what we have in common, we get to talk about stuff, it'll be a little chit chat, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be great. People who know me from Instagram know that I respond to as many comments as humanly possible without driving myself crazy, you know? Because I don't believe the community is just a buzzword. And overall, I want people to know that art isn't just a childhood thing, it's something that you should always try. Everybody should have a space where you get to express yourself creatively, but maybe that's just me. But enough of all that, let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna break this video down into a couple parts because I wanna share a lot with you. And by the way, if you see me looking right here, it's because my laptop's there and I'm keeping notes to make sure I get through everything as smoothly as possible. I didn't wanna just throw some fun facts because I feel like that's not fun and it's not really a conversation starter. So it's kinda gonna be like a talk through type of thing. I have some questions from Instagram that I'll answer throughout as well. And at the end, I'll call out some specific questions that I was asked. So the sections will be art, entertainment, movies, food, and life. So let's start with the art category. A lot of people wanted to know what made me start with art, how I discovered it, what got me into Blender and things like that. And the truth is, Ever since I've known who I am, I've wanted to create things. I see one thing and imagine a million different other things that it could be or what I could use it for or do something with. I just always have a million ideas. So nothing really got me into art per se, it's really just who I am, it's baked into my soul. I practiced countless art mediums throughout my life, I've really done a little bit of everything. My most active ones are digital art obviously because that's where a lot of you know me from, my Bunger page. But I also do a lot of performance, a lot of theater, singing, dancing, acting, but I truly love and practice all art forms. I've painted Painted, photography, writing, makeup, drawing, sculpting with clay, fiber art. I love to crochet. I'm not good at knitting, but I've tried it. I really love it all, and I'm just gonna do it for the rest of my life. Now, going off of that point, I'm also somebody who just really loves to learn relentlessly. And that's sort of how I got into Blender, because I learned about it through one of my favorite YouTube channels, which is Corridor Crew. And I kept hearing it and hearing it and hearing it, and I heard it was free, and it was a creative outlet, and you could do so many different things with it. And I'm like, that sounds like it's up my alley. So one day, I don't know, I just saw something on Instagram, and I was like, this is the day that I'm gonna try it. I picked it up a couple months ago and literally have not put it down for a single day. And I'm really happy y'all like what I make. I love seeing your comments and your DMs and all your messages. It's so sweet, it's, it's great. Now let's go on to the entertainment section. So YouTube isn't just something that I decided I'm gonna hop onto and start posting videos. YouTube is the main platform that I consume visual media on. I don't watch a lot of TV, I don't stream a lot of shows. I watch YouTube all the time. Now my favorite YouTube channels are as follows, and yes, this is in ranked order. Number one, the channel that got me into YouTube, the one that I love the most, is Good Mythical Morning. I've been a fan since way back when it was Good Morning Jay Lincoln. But after that, my next favorite channel is Dead Me. I love horror movies, analyzing movies, talking about behind the scenes, so that channel is right. It, that's, that's my thing. Right after that is Cinema Therapy. If you are looking for a cozy movie channel, go to Cinema Therapy right now, right now. It is by far one of the greatest channels on YouTube. So I'm not just here because I wanted to be here one day. I've just always loved YouTube as far back as I can remember. So the next step for me was to post my own videos. Now about movies, one of my goals for 2024 is to widen my movie horizon. I love watching movies and consuming visual media and that type of content in general, but my favorite movies are definitely Marvel movies and horror movies. I also love thrillers as well. Those are the types of movies that I'll always watch, I'll always feel comforted by. Even within those genres, there are still movies that I love and movies I don't like so much and probably won't watch again. Now, I don't like comedy movies. I can't do it. However, I will watch a movie that is funny in a clever way, but not because of outright humor and jokes. I just don't find physical comedy and things like that funny. I don't know how to explain it. I guess people would describe it as dry humor. In 2024, there are a lot of movies that I have on my list that I want to see. Maybe I'll do a video about that as well, if that's something that people wanted to see. Speaking of, and this is a little off topic, but please tell me in the comments the type of stuff that you guys would like to see from me. Because I have a lot of things that I want to put out, but I want to make sure I'm reaching what you guys want to see too. But yeah, speaking of Marvel movies, I love Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man comics, I love Spider-Man movies, I love Spider-Man merch, anything Spider-Man, I'm doing it. Video games, all that. For reference, here's my laptop. So I make stickers and of course I took that as an opportunity to deck my laptop out with Spider-Man stuff. Also, here's my Halloween costume. And here's my phone case. 
I just love Spider-Man. My go-to comfort movie is Spider-Man No Way Home for obvious reasons. So yeah. Moving on to video games. So I have a Nintendo Switch, my boyfriend has a PS5, so I play a ton of games on both systems. My favorite game this year was obviously Spider-Man 2. And my least favorite game that I played this year, which I decided to give a try even though it's old, is The Callisto Protocol. I definitely take reviews into consideration, however, I'm somebody who likes to try my own hand, but the reviews are correct. That game is not it. I started playing it and 10 minutes in, I was like, okay, <laughs> what next? What's ne what now? Fully bored, fully bored. My favorite Switch game right now is Luigi's Mansion 3, but in all fairness, if you ask me at any point what my favorite Switch game is, I'm gonna say Luigi's Mansion 3. Even though it's old, that's a game that I will always go back and play because I love it so much. I also have both Mario Party games, which I play a lot. I also play a ton of other games on both systems as well. I'll do a video fully about that one day. Feel free to recommend me some games to play though, because I'll always try them out. Moving on to food. Y'all, my favorite thing to do in this whole world is sit down and have a meal. I'm always eating, I'm always enjoying some sort of meal, some sort of snack, some sort of something. My favorite things to eat are pho, pad thai, ramen noodles. My mom got me this book for Christmas and it's one of my favorite things ever. I haven't even gotten to make anything out of it yet, but I'm just so excited looking at all the recipes and like now I have it at my fingertips so I can make ramen whenever. I love a good soul food meal, I love fruits, I love vegetables. Now I'm pescatarian, so I eat a lot of fish meals too, so salmon, flounder, cod, love it. I literally just was eating salmon 15 minutes ago. I do a lot of cooking, I love to cook with Adam, and we have an Instagram page where we share all the food that we cook and everything that we try, the restaurants that we go to, it's so fun. Also in 2020, like many of you, I tried my hand at baking and I really love baking too. It's just expensive, so I couldn't keep up with it for as long as I wanted to. But my favorite dessert of all time is a good cannoli. I love cannolis. But yeah, I love to eat. If you have any recipes that you want me to try, I'll cook them. I'll do it. Send them my way. Moving on to the last section, which is life. So right now I am a college student. I'm in my fifth year and I'm hoping to get my master's degree in some sort of 3D animation, graphic design, art, creativity related thing. I do believe that I want to get my PhD after I finish my master's. Um, that's my plan right now, but we'll see where life takes me moving forward. I'm definitely getting my master's though. By the way, I forgot to share my Pikachu sticker. There he is. <laughs> and now to take some direct questions from Instagram that I got um, that I didn't previously answer in my conversations. The first one is, what is one thing you bring with you everywhere you go? This is not sponsored. I bring this water bottle with me everywhere. I just really love this water bottle. My aunt got it for me. I bring it everywhere. So the next question is, do you have any pets? No, I don't. I'm allergic to cats, but I'm not allergic to dogs. So I do plan on getting a dog one day, hopefully soon. Next question is, what is your favorite day of the week? Friday. That's also what I named my car, but not because of the day of the week, because of Iron Man. The next question I got was, are your glasses real? Yes, they are prescription, both pairs. All baddies have an astigmatism and can't see when the lights are bright. Come on now. <laughs> now I wanted to end on this question, which was, how do you have the confidence to post your art? Now, everything I'm about to say is easier said than done, and I recognize that. Before I say this, let me just be honest. I am generally someone in life who has not struggled with my confidence. I've struggled with other things that prevent me from sharing my artwork, but confidence was not one of those. My biggest killer was perfectionism. You will never progress if you are too busy trying to be perfect at everything you do. It's just not gonna work. You honestly just have to be okay with not being perfect. The other big thing, and one of my best friends Cece changed my life when she told me this, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit. You just have to say to yourself sometimes, who's gonna fight me? If you're like, I wanna post my artwork, but I'm worried about who's gonna see it, if it's not good, people are gonna judge me. Is anybody going to walk up to you and punch you in your face for posting your art? No. Is anybody going to be mad at you for sharing what you love? No. And if they are, they are not someone who needs to be in your life in the first place. But again, no one is gonna hurt you for sharing your work. You created something. You spent time developing your skill, your talent, your uniqueness. There is a piece of you in every single thing you create and that piece of you deserves to be shown to the world. Even if the world is 20 people who follow you across all your platforms, show it. Even if it doesn't look like how you want it to look, take pride in the fact that you put the time and effort in. Don't worry about it being perfect. Don't worry about what anybody's gonna say to you because again, no one's gonna punch you. Because if it's making me happy, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm bringing something from my brain into my hands or from my brain into a computer or something else. Also, you just never know who you're going to inspire. When I posted that one reel on my Blender progress, I had no idea the amount of people that would come to me and say, you are the reason that I wanna start Blender. Like me? Me? Well, at that point, it's time for me to share all my tips with you. Let's do it. 
there is someone out there that's going to see your work and say that is something that I want to do and really you just have to let that push you forward don't stop for anybody ever again I know that this is easier said than done but I believe in you you got this you can do it I'm here for you if you feel like no one else is here for you just know that I'm here and that's really all I have to say today Feel free to send me your artwork on Instagram or comment some recipes down below or say hi or something we have in common. I love talking to people who like to talk about the same things that I like to talk about. And y'all are really cool, so let's talk. Bye! I know this was a little bit of a long introduction, but thank you so much for sticking with me because I had a lot to say today. After this video will be the video that everybody is waiting for, which is how I learned Blender. So subscribe, stay tuned, stick with me, and thanks! Bye! Love you! Bye!